Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I really hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing. Today we have a organisation video, let's say. We have a video of me decluttering my makeup. I have to say I have quite a bit of makeup. I don't have as much makeup as normal YouTubers. I do have a fair bit for one person. I collect makeup, I really enjoy it, but it's getting to a point now where I'm running out of space, so I really desperately need to declutter it, and I need to get it gone, do you know what I mean? I'm gonna get into it, and I'm gonna declutter, and I'm gonna try and be as ruthless as I possibly can be. If I don't use it, or I haven't used it in the last three months, or two months, or a month, it's going to family and friends, or in the bin. If you enjoy these types of videos, please smash the thumbs up button so I know to do more of them. And also, if you would like to, you can press subscribe and stick about. We are really nearly at 5k and I'm like willing to get there. So if we can, if you would subscribe, that would be absolutely great. And I will see you in about two seconds where I'm decluttering my makeup. I look like butt shit. Okay, we're gonna just start and go straight into my everyday drawer because right now it's a mess like full-on mess this is a mess like i don't use this much every day so i literally just want to get this down to my everyday kind of stuff so for moisturizers and eye cream i use both of the charlotte tilbury's that can stay i have the hydrogenius which i use before makeup so that can stay in there and then here i have my glossier balm.com that can stay because that's a lip balm Ooh. then i have a sample of the charlotte tilbury night cream which can stay then i have three little mac samples also so that can all stay in there that's perfectly fine okay now moving into this area like this is pretty bad so i'll just get everything out so this is my Mac Oh Darling and it literally broke the other day. It fell off and just went bang. But I'm keeping it because it's still usable. So I'm keeping that. This is the Mac bronzer I use every day. This is actually limited edition. It's from Croatia. My mum and dad got it in the Mac in Croatia. And this is Serenity Seeker. It is the iridescent powder and I use this as a bronzer every day so that can stay as well. So for contour I use my Becca, I use the uh, Sunlit Bronzer, is it Sunlit Bronzer? Yeah and this is in Bronze Bondi, I use this so I'm keeping that as well. The Match Perfection powder I use every single time I do um, my makeup so I'm keeping that. And then for the um, solid powder pressed powder i use rimmel stay matte so i'm going to keep that nars survivalist kit this is what i use for my blushes so i use literally these two mix them together off limits and matahari so i keep that as well so that's like powder wise cream blush which i don't really use so i'm gonna put that to chuck away my primer this is actually the primer that i use this shouldn't be in here that needs to go over there so this is the primer that i use is the nyx photo 11 primer so i'm going to put that in with my skincare bits concealer shouldn't be in there so i have two mac prep and primes but i've only i've got nothing left i've got nothing left i've got nothing left that can go in the bin I have a crystal in there. There's literally crystals like everywhere, but I have crystal in there. And then I have three of my Becca minis. This one was actually off my Make Chloe, and um, I got it home and it broke, but I mean, I love this. This is in the shade Vanilla Quartz. It's like a proper white highlighter, to be fair. I keep it though, because I can still use it for like inner corner and stuff. This is the old Becca Opal still i'm gonna put them in my drawers actually that's not gonna stay in my everyday and then champagne pop which isn't something i use every day i use moonstone but i don't know where it's gone so also the pixie makeup fixing mist which i use as well so i'm gonna put my setting sprays in there my mac bronzer highlighter nars and my two powders there so that's done back here we have eyelashes 
so I have like quite a few pairs, well a couple of pairs. These are from B&M. I actually really like the B&M ones, Primark and some off Amazon. They're down the bottom. So I'm going to keep those where they were. What's this? Tyler Individuals as well, so I'm going to keep them at the back where they were. So I'm just going to shove them in. At the back here, I just have my sponges and a candle. Oh, classy. Right, so I'm going to keep my sponges out for now because they need a wash. So I have a candle that can go in the bin. This is what I mean. It's all like really... Hello, this is awful angle. This is what I mean. It's all really random shit. Like, shit. Right, moving on, we're going to go... We'll go to eyeliners at the back up here. So I have a sharpener, which I'm going to keep. So I also keep my mascaras in here. I have two mascaras on the go. There's one here as well. So I use my Lash Sensational. I use my 2000 Max Factor Calorie, whatever. And my Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll. I have eyeliners. Now I need to really sort through my eyeliners because... I have five on the go at the minute. So this is the Rimmel Scandalize. That's still going. I know some of them are still going, but some of them just aren't very good. That can go, the nib on that is absolutely ruined. It's covered in liquid latex though from Halloween. Then I have my tattoo liner, which has still got a little bit of life left in it. And my NYX, which has still got some life left in it. So I'm gonna keep those four out. Then we have lip products which are over here so i'm going to put them in there for now and then we have eyeliners and lip liners these are the ones i probably use on the daily basis so we have a black one uh revolution worth it um primark lip liners which are amazing if you haven't tried then two nyx ones which i use just a normal one from amazon which i use the rimmel scandalize and a copper went from NYX. It's really, really nice. I really, really like it, so I'm gonna keep that as well. Back in, put my liners in as well, and my mascaras, and that's literally it. This is where it gets a little bit messy, but these are the brow products, foundation, concealer, lips, so I kinda need to separate these up a little. But the foolproof brow powder in five, that's what I use pretty much on the reg, along with the Precisely My Brow and the cabrow as well i love that also i have in here for brows is a morphe pencil oh shit lobbing things everywhere which is a morphe pencil still got stuff in it it's the micro brow pencil but i use this for my fake freckles so that's why i gonna keep that in there so that's oh and the gimme brow i use for my brows and this pixie brow setter um right i'll go with foundation next so this is the foundation i've actually been using at the moment this is the rimmel wake me up i actually used to wear this to school and i've been found a new love for it so keeping that then i have two shades of the maybelline superstay foundation that should be on like that because that's really irritating two shades of the maybelline superstay foundation i have the shade 10 ivory and 48 sun beige so i'm going to keep both of those because they are the shades that i mix together then i have a bb cream which i think i'm going to put back in my drawers because i'm not going to use that as of yet the lightning shade adjusting drops i don't use anymore i don't know we'll see i might put it over on my depop because people don't really want and use like use shit do they to be fair i don't know we'll see but i'm gonna put that back in my drawer for now anyway then for concealers we have the match perfection which i'm trying to use up this is really nice concealer actually so i'm gonna keep that out we have the elf 16 hour camo concealer this is good but it is very drying like really drying then i have two of the collection oh shit the bed two of the collection concealers these both have pretty much run out like two uh, C2 still looks like there's some left in it so I might actually just keep that out for now really get my use out of it and I'm going to chuck this one in the bin this is C5 and then I'm going to keep the camo concealer out and then I also have out the radiance reveal at the moment because this is an O2 beige and this is like my actually this is pretty much dried out so that can go as well in the bin then I also have my naked skin my urban decay naked skin I absolutely adore this this is still going so I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to put all of my skin products at the top. So if I put my concealers in. 
and then put my foundations in. Right, so that's better. That's only three foundations when there was like six in there to be in with. Um, moving down, we have a cream bronzer, which I do use. So I'm going to put that in with the bronzers and stuff here. Eyelo lash glue, which I use on the reg, so keeping that out. A nail glue cap, which can go away. So now we have, oh, I also have the Lasting Perfection concealer. So put that in there because it's green and I've got spots. So now I have all of my lip products. So I'm going to keep all of these because i throw them on the floor apparently. Right, I'm actually going to pick that up with my toe because if I bend down, I'm going to knock everything. So I have the ColourPop uh, X Zoella in Little One. I have the NYX Liquid Suede, the red in Kitten Heels. I ha actually, I put them all the same way because so that really bugged me. Then I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour. This is in the colour Firestarter, so that's also a red, so I'm going to put my reds down the bottom. And then we have a lip lingerie in, I think this is Teddy, yeah. So I've been using this one recently for a darker lip. And then we have two NYX products, Soft Matte Lip Cream and Butter Gloss 1. This is in the shade London and the gloss is in Fortune Cookie. Then I have a matte bullet lipstick from Primark. Love this for the middle of my lips. And this is in the shade Naked. And it smells like cookies as well, which is really good. And then I'm just going to put in my brow stuff with this. Alright, we haven't got anything else back here other than like a stray nail or two, which is cute. And then moving round, we have this hot mess. Do we have my Kat Von D shade and light eye palette? I am going to, oh there you are, hey, I'm going to continue to use this because I like this and then I have the Self X Revolution uh, Extra Spice Palette, I'm going to continue to use that as well and then I have a random nail glue and I have my MAC little quad thing that my, my dad actually made me this, like he bought me it and made and picked the colours and everything. Then I have a razor in here because I have hormonal problems and sometimes shave my face. I mean, judge me if you will but i mean you can't really judge me if you don't know the struggles so i have a load of stuff down the side but i'm going to keep that there because i use it so like piercing cleaner and shit like that um i actually have a cbd oil leaflet in here as well which i need to take out and sort out in here i'm going to put both of my palettes so that's done i'm going to put my cbd thing back in there so i know where it is then i also have my color switch which is from amazon which is like the best thing since sliced bread i'm gonna put my sponges back in and then clean them at a later date because right now effort so i'm just gonna put them back there romeo done so coming up here we have quite a mess so the stuff on top of my ipad is going to go back oh i need to put these back don't i i'll put them there so stuff on top of my ipad needs to go over to my alex drawers that is john's that is also john's because i can't drink lucasaid oh i put my shaver back in there in case i need to shave my face over here is rubbish so let's put all the rubbish together so i need to take both my morphe palettes back over i need to take all three of my I'm so dropsy and I can't cope with it. And these bits in the bin because they have run out. So I'm just going to put that in the bin and then we're going to go over to my Alex drawers. And that's where shit gets real. So I'm just going to show you what's on top of my Alex drawers because I've just moved my whole room around. My face looks so chubby. Oh well. So on top of my Alex drawers, I've put a shelf up here. This has the case for my Foreo Luna Mini that's pending you'll see that soon then i have some flowers these are from the range then i have a frame from the range and then a picture inside that just says blessed then down here we have a carpe diem picture frame with my yankee candle now this is possibly one of my favorite candles this is the evening fire and it literally smells like a bonfire i'm real and that's my favorite scent and then next that we have a big chunk of rose quartz I moved you across so my marble amethyst dressing box not dressing box jewelry box keep all my jewelry in there 
it's got a little amethyst on the top. This was from HomeSense, which is cute. And then here, this tray is also from HomeSense. And then I have a gin bottle on it. And then mine and John's aftershaves and perfumes and whatever. So that's literally the setup. And then that's all on top of, that's all on top of my Alex drawers. So we're going to start in this drawer first. Okay, so I need to be a bit brutal. But there's things in here that don't even belong in here. So like setting sprays, which have a different drawer sellotape random but i have this one and this has been in here for so long but it is the l'oreal infallible sculpting stick this i have kept purely because i want to remember the shade because that is my perfect no tan shade so i'm going to keep that and i also have another stick foundation this is from revolution that's quite is there a lot left yeah there's quite a lot left in there and then in here we have my kiko daily protection i still use that so i'm gonna keep that then we have my L'Oreal True Match. This I still have stuff in. Uh, my Infallible 24 Hour. Now I actually don't use this. So I'm going to get rid of this. I might put it on my Depop. I haven't decided yet. I will let you know. And then I have my a new Age Transforming SPF 15 foundation. This is from Avon. And this is such a good foundation. But I just don't use it. So that can go as well. Then here we have my Huda Beauty foundation. This is perfect non-tan shade as well. It's vanilla 120B. Yeah, so this is the Huda foundation, so I'm gonna keep that in here. I also have my Too Faced Born This Way. This is possibly one of my favorite foundations I've ever used, so I'm keeping that. And I also have my Kat Von D Locket foundation, which is also one of my favorites, so I'm keeping that too. Moving over, we have a Nip and Fab foundation, which I don't use, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I have the Better Skin, Maybelline Better Skin. I also don't use this, so that can go. I have the Airbrush Away Number 7 foundation, and I don't use this either, so that can go. Then I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation. Now, this I liked, but it's a bit weird. Like, the applicator is a bit weird. But I'm going to keep it because I want to try and keep keep on top of it and try and use it and then I have a tiny bit left of this but I'm not getting rid of this just yet because I'm still going to use it this is the match perfection I've actually used these since school which is mad so I'm going to keep that as well and then here we have the L'Oreal infallible 24 hour mat this I also don't use so I'm gonna get rid of this I recently bought this is the revolution conceal and define this I love the collection color match foundation it's a foundation that adapts to your skin color which it really didn't so i'm keeping that away and then we have a matte base from revolution i actually quite like this so i'm keeping this and then finally i have my fenty beauty which i'm keeping this is the infallible pro glow i will never not use that i absolutely adore that and then I'm just going to put my Bonjour Nudista in there as well. This next drawer is concealers. Now I reckon I'm going to throw out a lot of these. I also have a letter back here, but I need to keep it for safekeeping. So I'm just going to put it over here for now. Okay, so in here we have some concealers. I have like nail varnish. Yeah, just not good. Okay, so in here we have the NYX concealer, full coverage concealer in porcelain. This is like near enough full, but I just don't use it, so... Get rid of that. The Last Imperfection in Lemon. That's still got stuff in it, so I'm going to use that. The Maybelline Mastercard. This is the correcting. I'm going to keep that because I do do some correcting sometimes. Lasting Finish Concealer. I think this is empty. Yeah, that's pretty much empty. That can go. That's a really good concealer, though. I loved that. This is more of a correction colour for me, so I'm going to put this in with my correctors. And I have like two, three lasting collections. Right, that's got stuff in. So I'm going to keep that one. Has this got stuff in? If they've got stuff in, I'll keep them. Yeah, you've got... Oh, got you on me. You've got stuff in. Then I have this natural collection concealer. This is just buzz. That can go. Then I have the anti-age. This. That's done. That can go in the bin. Then I have the duo contour, which I actually really like. So I'm going to keep that. And then I have a Fit Me, which has a little bit left in, so I'm going to keep that as well. Uh, got a little bit left of the Age Rewind, and then I have my two Kat Von D's. So I actually think I'm going to sell this one on Depop, because it's full. I've actually never used it. 
um, but I ordered the wrong shade. I think I must have like, accidentally clicked the wrong shade. I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to put that on Depop. I'm going to keep it because that was my perfect shade. It's L11 Neutral, so I can buy that again. So what I might do is actually move all of the concealers up. So next we have powders. So this is the NYX Photogenic Powder, but this is pretty much empty, so that can go in the bin. Avon Magic Powder, I really like this, so I'm going to keep this. And then I have a Revolution Powder. Then I have my trusty Laura Mercier, keep that. Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. This is like the best powder, so I'm gonna keep that as well. This is a matte maker. This is pretty much like done, so I'm just gonna get rid of him. Keep the fresh one. And then I have a Technic powder, which also I really like. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but it is so full coverage, it's ridiculous, so I've kept that as well. So I've got a space here. We're doing well. We're doing really well. See, this is where shit gets complicated. Here we have bronzer. So this is the Sun Kiss Bronzing Pearls. I use these for my body. So I think I'm going to put them in there. Then we have the L'Oreal Back to Bronze. Absolutely lovely. We have the Cushion de Soleil. They don't do this anymore, so I'm going to keep that because I really, really like it. Matte Bronze Glow. That is a bloody good matte bronzer. Trust me. If you need a matte bronzer, go for that one. Then I have a stick. This is Sim Better Days. That can go. That's dusty. Then I have a contour kit, which I really like. This is actually from Seventeen, and I bought this on a whim, just looking for like a decent contour kit. And this is actually really good, so I'm going to keep that. Right, this is a blush from Technic. I don't think I'm going to use that, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is a blush from NYX. I really like it, but you have to go so, so careful with it. This is the Insta Flame. Then I have a Rimmel Contour Highlight and Blush Kit, which I really, really like. I loved that highlighter. Um, but the blush and the contour is still really nice, so I still use that. Then I have an Elizabeth Arden Bronzing Powder Brush. I love this. My nan actually gave me this, and I really like it, so... Keep that then we have an MUA blushed. This is really nice if you want just like a little pinky color. So I'm gonna keep her my granite. It's quite old, but I'm still gonna use it, so don't judge me. And then I have a tiny one from Rimmel. I love this for just a little bit of a flush. This is the Santa Rose. So these are all my highlighters. I have a memory stick in there for some reason, so you can come out. This technically classes as a bronzer, but I'd put this more as a highlight, so I'm gonna keep it in my highlight drawer. So Let's go through my highlights. I found my other Becca highlighter. This is um, Moonstone. Yeah, Moonstone. This is so pretty. Then we have the Revolution Vivid Bright. This is bloody awful. I used this in... I can't get into it. I used this in a recent video. And it's literally like... Chalk. Like... Chalk. So that's going in the bin. Then I have a pixie highlighter. This is really, really nice. I like this. This is in London Luster. Then we have a skin kiss from Revolution. This is massive, but I don't think I use it. Well, I know I don't use it, but I... it's really pretty, but I just wouldn't use it. So I think I might put that on my Depop as well. Then I have a little Tarte highlight. I love this highlight. This is in Exposed. And if I just show you, this is like... A gorgeous gold so I'm gonna keep that one <laughs> we have these two cream highlights from natural collection I'm never gonna use them so they can go they were literally like a pound each so then I have liquid illuminators so I have one from Tarte which is really good I have the master strobing liquid from Maybelline which is good and then I have a NYX liquid illuminator but it is so dark for me I think I might depop it because it's not very old but it's so dark for me that it just would look pretty ridiculous on me. And then we have three of my Barry M liquid chromes, which I'm going to keep because I really, really like them. And then we have a Glow Man Armor, which I still use. Put them in here. Right, okay, so that's that. Back over here. So these are all my primers. So this primer I don't use, so I'm going to get rid of that. Then I have my Lumi Magic, which I'm going to keep, and my Baby Skin, which I'm going to keep. I have Airbrush Away, which is good. Face Finity, which has run out. This, which is good, which I'm going to keep. The Primed and Ready, which I don't use. And the 17 Stay Time Long Wear Primer I don't use, so that can go. 
I have a head thermometer in here as well. And I have henna. So I'm just going to leave my henna just there to just... That's literally it. Um, I wonder if I can squeeze them in anywhere else over here. Eyebrow glitter eyeliner drawer. Now this is going to... I didn't long go through this, so I'm going to just keep everything, I think. That can definitely go, though, because that's been here and age, and so can that. Then we have the NYX Tame and Frame, which I think is stupidly, yeah, is stupidly dry, so we can get rid of that. You can go in the bin. I have the Obsession Makeup one. That's still going. That's all good. Then I just have a load of brown pencils, which I just don't really need, do I? So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, elf makeup these are really good for your eyebrows I really enjoy them that has definitely seen better days that's dusty this is really good actually here's a little tip if you don't know you probably know but use um, clear mascara as eyebrow gel that's what I do I have a precisely my brow this is brand new like haven't actually used this yet yeah it's brand new so keep that uh, the lip hop which I use to dye my eyebrows a brown mascara from NYX the brow gel from NYX, so I'm going to keep all of that. I'm going to keep all my glitters as well because one day I will look for them and won't be able to find them. So that I think I'm just going to lift up. Put some paracetamol in there. Love that. So that I'm just going to leave. Right, so setting sprays now. So I have, oh, and the stars. Right. The MAC Prep and Prime, the coconut scent, which I'm going to use. Then I have the Profix Illuminating Spray, which has a little bit left in. The So all of these have like just little bits left in them. That's brand new as well, so I'm going to keep that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the ALF one, keep the dewy finish, and keep that one. Get rid of the Avon Magic one, because I, there's like barely anything. Oh, I've got a L'Oreal Infallible one here as well, haven't I? Just get rid of them both, because they don't fit. I'm trying to be minimal minimalistic, if that's the word. Uh, we have mascaras. So, this W7 mascara I haven't used, which I don't want to use. Then I have this mascara, which I love, but that's dry, so we'll get rid of that. And we have the False Lash Effect, which is still good. The L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes, which is still good. The Thick and Fast Mascara from Soap and Glory, which is really good. That's still in action. Yeah, the dual maximizer, which is still good to use, so I'm gonna keep that. Then I have a Pixie Lower Lash Mascara, which is still good. The this is definitely crusty dusty gone. Yeah, crusty dusty gone. The Tart Lights Camera Lashes, that's still good to use. The Tart Tartius, which is good, and the NARS Audacious Mascara, which is still good. And then lip draw, which again I've not long been through, so I'm going to keep everything. I have the Revolution Makeup London palette. I don't use it, so that's going to go. Then we have the Imagination palette, but I haven't really touched that to be fair, so I'm going to keep that and continue to use it. Dare to Create, I want to keep. This Strobe of Genius, I want, definitely want to keep. This NYX, NYX lip palette, I'm not going to use, so that can go. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, which has definitely seen better days, but it was my first high-end makeup product, so I'm keeping it because I'm sentimental as shit. Uh, this Morphe palette, yeah, keeping that one. Then I have the Revolution Blush palette, which is definitely bronzers, but that can go, so I'm not going to use it. Revolution Blush palette, I'm going to keep that because I really like that. Uh, Mario Badescu spray that's empty. My Diamond FX palette, which I'm 100% keeping because I love it. Then I have Eucalyptus Oil. So what I can actually do now is put palettes in these drawers, which is great. So I'm going to put them over here. Then I've got my Tarte. What's this? Goddess Glam. I'm keeping this because I really like this. I think this is really pretty. The Starry Eyes palette. I really like this, so I'm going to keep that. I don't care. Uh, the Nude, the Balm, the Nude. I'm going to keep this purely because I like the shimmers in this and I will use them. I smashed the mirror as well, so seven years bad luck. Touch wood doesn't count. Extreme Catcher palette. 
I'm going to keep this because I really like it. Um, ba -ba. Then this no filter selfie. I said in my last declare I was going to keep this, but to be honest, I haven't even used it since, so it can go. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with now. This is going to be a long enough video, so what I'm going to do is I will do a part two and declutter the rest of my drawers because we have things like this crap, bath bombs, like products, um, hair stuff. So I will do all that another day and do it as like a part two. Sorry, I've lost a nail. Um, and yeah, Fuck. yeah, that is that is it. Inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross up the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush Okay We decluttered With the makeup that you saw I'm going to give to family and friends And if not just going to put it in the bin Because I would do a giveaway, but nobody really wants, like, used makeup, so I would rather wait until 5k and then do a bigger giveaway of, like, new makeup and stuff like that. Like, we're gonna go all out when I do a 5k giveaway. But yeah, I'm gonna go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you did, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe down below, and I will see you very soon for another video.